Hey YouTube, Kier Twig here, bringing you all my Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Impact sneak preview booster pack opening. This is the latest sneak peek we have this weekend for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. It's a really awesome set. Chaos Impact introduces the first Link 5 for the TCG format in the form of Firewall Dark Fluid uh, Dragon. We also have a bunch of other support for decks like Gladiator Beasts, Marine Cess, Salmon Grates, and a whole lot of other support that I'm really excited for just to update a bunch of different decks like all the uh, sneak peek entries I've been doing lately. I have the one entry. I also picked up a second one to open up as well in the video. So definitely excited to see what we pull. With uh, every sneak peek entry, you also get the uh, promo. This promo this time around is Gladiator Beast Vespacious. Um, a bunch of different Gladiator Beast support. So definitely looking forward to uh, building this deck again with the new Link Monsters we have. This, I think, comes in rare for the actual sets. We have the Ultra Rare promo, which is going to be very, very nice with all the different foils we can collect for the Gladiator Beast. So like I said, we got the 10 packs to go through for the two entries. So let's go ahead and start off with the one I have laid out here and take a look at all of the new cards we have. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, we have a common for the new, I believe this is for the Unchained deck. Yep, I can see there. Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. This deck is insane for just the amount of foils that we have for this set. I think there's at least three Secret Rares, so that's definitely crazy. There we have Aromage Laurel. Also looking forward to building the Aromage uh, deck. I think they have a new Link Monster in the set. We got the one Link Monster already in dual power, plus a bunch of different reprints for the Aromages. So definitely looking forward to all that support. We have Mimic Curl. I actually haven't seen this card. I've tried to remain as surprised as I can for a bunch of the cards, unless it's support I'm really, really excited for, like the Salmon Great. Link 4 and Dark Fluid Dragon, the cover card, obviously, but this one definitely does look cute and can't wait to see what it can be used in deck-wise. And to start off, we actually have an Ultra Rare right off the bat, Gladiator Rejection. This is a continuous spell for the Gladiator Beast. I actually do think this is quite a good Ultra Rare for the Gladiator Beast. Your opponent cannot target Gladiator Beast monsters you control with card effects except during the battle phase. If a Gladiator Beast monster is special summoned from your main deck except during the damage step, you can special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck with a different type from that monster. So yeah, it's definitely, it gives you a plus additional monster and also protects your own Gladiator be so definitely needed and usable for the deck so awesome great way to start off the pack glad i pulled it and we have a gladiator beast a torix so along with the promo already got a strong uh, suggestion as to what i could start off with the uh, decks we also have aroma gardening for uh, arrow mages continuous spell the marine cess battle ocean i think we got this as the promo in the special edition the World Legacy, uh, continuous spell for World Legacy, and Luna the Dark Spirit, a fiend monster. I think it's a generic uh, fiend um, level four. Awesome. Good start there. On to the second part. I think when I did my Rising Rampage sneak preview booster pack opening, I believe I got a secret rare. It was the Marine Cess one from the first pack, but starting off with this one, we have Chobim Armor Dragon. Did Revolver use this card? He uses so many different random dragons. I can't recall all of them they use. We have a new Dino Wrestler, Valionix, for our next common. A fact monster. If this card is normal, uh, summon. Uh, you can target one water monster in your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to that monster's attack until the end of this turn. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster you control. Gains one. So, not bad for a common uh, water monster. We have Salmon Great Burning Shell for our next quick play spell. A lot of cool Salmon Great support in this set as well, so definitely excited for that. And our next super is Phantasos, the Dream Mirror Foe. So I know a lot of people are also excited for the uh, super uh, rare. Different. I think we only have super rares for the Dream Mirrors in this pack. I can't recall if we got any ultra rares or not for them, but uh, definitely looking forward to seeing all the different support we can do with the Phantasos as well. If for the Dream Mirrors in this set, we also have Tyrant Farm. Is this plant support? Special one? Nope. It just looks like it's a, uh, a tribute spell. Let's us summon out some other different monsters as well. Very, very nice. And we have Marine Cess Wonderheart, common Link monster. This I know was a promo for the uh, Rising Rampage Special Edition. Uh, Galactic Spiral Dragon for the next common. And Dances with Beasts for the common after that. Very, very cool. On to the next pack. 
just to see all that we can pull. We have Suppression Collider for our Cybers Normal Monster. I don't know what we would use this in for the Cybers deck, but very, very interesting, that's for sure. Dream Mirror of Chaos, so another Dream Mirror card. I can't recall if we got any Dream Mirror cards previously in the last pack that were not uh, foil, but it looks like we got some commons. Another Chobim Armor Dragon. We have Dream Mirror Phantasm, so another super rare for the Dream Mirror uh, card. And we have an Unchained Twins Aruha for the Unchained deck. Like I said, there's just so many different Sega rares for the Unchained. That's crazy. We have Pro Meteor, the Burning Star, uh, Escape of the Unchained, World Reassembly, and Bayonetta, the Baneful Barrel for our, looks like it's a zombie. A lot of generic cards I've noticed also in this set. A lot of cards that focus on specific decks, but just a lot of generic ones too that I think have some potential also. All right, two more packs for the first entry. So we start off with another Arrow Mage Laurel. Old Mind. This is another I look at one random card in pros and discard that both card and one card. So it's basically almost like a different type of exchange card, I'd say. DD Patrol Plane. We've got Dream Mirror of Chaos again. And we've got Prime Mineral Congrate for our next super rare. So this is another, I'm going to say generic all throughout this video, but another generic super rare rock monster. It must be special summoned by a car effect. If a monster sent from your opponent's hand or deck to the graveyard, except you could special summon this card. So I would say uh, definitely generic rock monster. You can special summon out. And has destruction effects also. And we have a Salmon Great Transcendence for our next rare. Marine Sess Snow. Another common, Escape of the Unchained, and World Legacy World Keys. This one looks pretty cool, the sword for the World Legacy. All right, last pack for the first entry. Let's see how we do. We have a Gladiator Beast comeback. Watt Train. This is, I actually was looking forward to this for the Watt deck, just for the potential. It has even got Watt Lemur. Looks like he's driving the train. Action Magic, double banking, so they're even giving us the action spells from Arc 5. And we have a super rare Oneros, the Dream Mirror Urkling. Uh, looks like a, I actually didn't know we were getting a fusion for the Dream Mirrors. Two Dream Mirror monsters with different attributes, so pretty easy to fuse out this card for the deck. And we have Unchained Twins Rakia for our rare. And we have an Arrow Mage Marjoram. Yeah, it's our first of that, I believe. Soul Levy. Desert Locusts. Is this uh, new? Or is this an OCG Empire? I, I honestly can't tell with a lot of these cards. And Marine Cess Crown Tail. So our first Marine Cess common for that as well. I believe there's also a Marine Cess Secret Rare and a Rare for this pack for all the different ones. And we've got the last five of the booster packs. Let's go ahead and see how we pull. So we start off with Chobam Armor Dragon again. We have Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. Arrow Mage Laurel again. And we have a Gizmic Yada, the Gleaming Vanguard. So I believe the other Gizmic we received from Rising Rampage was a uh, Secret Rare. So this one, Special Summon by Tributing one Normal Summon. So it's not like a Banish effect like the other one, but still interesting. We have a Nebula Dragon for our next rare. This is another card I can't recall. I don't think I would have remembered this one if Revolver summoned this card or not in Vrains. And we have a Luna the Dark Spirit. Dino Wrestler, Marshall, and Pello. Uh, Seraphim, Papillon for our Link 3. It's a Link 3 monster. Two monsters with different names. Very, very interesting. And we have an Astra Ghouls for our next summon. So we got a bunch of commons just from this pack that I didn't even recognize, but still very, very sweet. Four packs remaining. Let's see if we could pull anything cool. Suppression Collide. Everything's been cool, but anything like really, really impressive. Dream Mirror of Chaos. Another Armor Dragon. Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. We have a Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eyes. So I know the Evil Eyes, and I believe the Infinitrax, and um, the last of the um, monsters, all from that pack, we're getting support in the set. And the Evil Eyes got a new Link monster. So you need one Evil Eye monster to Link to, so it seems a little easier to summon out than the Link 3. And another Salmon Great Transcendence for the rare. We have another World Key, a Wonder Heart, and another Galactic Spiral Dragon for this pack. Let's see if they're saving the best for last with the last three packs. We've got an Action Magic, Double Banking, Suppression Collider, 
Dream Mirror of Chaos. We have another Ultra Rare Unchained Abomination. This is the Link 4 Unchained Monster for two monsters, including a Link Monster. So we got a second Ultra Rare from the entries. Very, very nice. So that basically protects uh, them by card effects. But the arrows, these are always great Link arrows to have. Gotta read the full effect because I don't know too, too much about the Unchained deck. But we have another Gladiator Beasts United for the Quick Play uh, spell. And a Bayonetta, the Baneful Barrel. Uh, Roma Garden, Ning, Marine Cess Battle Ocean, and another World World Legacy. This looks like it's a final up card for the World Legacy, like the story's almost ending with those cards. Two packs remaining. Let's see how we finish this. Bye Bye Damage, Gladiator Beast Comeback, Watt Train, Action Magic Double Banking. We have a Dream Mirror, Hypnogogia, for, oh, there's so many Dream Mirror cards. This one looks like it's staring at the different attributes for the Dream Mirror monsters. And we have a Blessed Winds, another one of the Arrow Mage cards. And Astra Ghouls, Marine Says Snow, and an Escape of the Unchained for the last common there. All right, final pack. Let's see how we can end it. Just the one entry where I don't get a secret rare or just two ultras. I still think they were pretty cool ultras, but let's see how we end it. We have a Bye Bye Damage, Gladiator Beast Comeback, Watt Train, and we've got it. I couldn't tell what it was for a second, but we have another Arrow Mage monster. It's an Aroma Seraphy Sweet Marjoram. So this is the new Synchro monster. I Maybe it was a Synchro I was thinking of and not a Link monster we got for the new support. Anyway, still very, very awesome. Uh, pool for sure. At least we got a bunch of different pools. And we have a Gladiator Beast Charge for the rare. Another Marine Cess Crown Tail. I don't think I pulled any of the Marine Cess rare, but there are 20 different rares you can pull in the set. Uh, Remedier, the Burning Star, Escape of the Unchained, World Reassembly, and we finish it off with that. But definitely feel like I want to buy some more packs of this set. All in all, I hope you enjoyed the opening for the pulls we got. I definitely, I think uh, the Unchained Abomination might be the best one. But still happy we pulled the Gladiator Beast Ultra as well. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.